Hey guys, Lonely Fanboy Fully here, and well, looks like I am gonna do reactions of this month, no matter what kind of ideas of what's going to happen this month, even if I'm gonna do others. But since someone, Brendan S.2, I think that's his YouTube name, the guy who requested me to do his YouTube poop death age, decided to make me react to another video, which is going to be 26 minutes long. And that video is. My Little Pony slash Ninja Turtle slash Looney Tunes into Planet X widescreen. Yeah, it's a really long title. Um, I really didn't, I'm not much of a fan of YouTubes like I do back in the days. And I don't, I'm not interested into watching Ninja Turtles. But, I'm a, but I am going to react to this video since that has My Little Pony stuff in it. And the fact that My Little Pony Month is, has just begun. So, if you're going to do any more requests, just don't do them a lot. I'm just saying, I just don't want to keep myself occupied by doing a lot of requests, even if I've already finished all the videos for this month. Anyway, let's begin. Uh, yeah, I know, this is a VHS beginning, but... I really think that doing this right now is is just only for me to be nice. Or the greatest crossover is what people usually say about this. I own that movie, by the way. I'm just saying. I own all the Ice Age movies, but not... But, but not the fifth movie. That fifth movie was terrible. Willie does nothing. Okay, I can understand crossovers and stuff, but this... It kind of... I feel like the beginning is just you just advertising something because you were either doing it because... You want to do a pre, you want to do future projects, but at the same time you add Ice Age to the DVD on now, which is probably completely make it really hard for me to believe that of what you're trying to do. That anyway, let's begin. Oh, Pixar logo again. By the way, I'm never mind. I'm just gonna say something. I'm gonna watch Toy Story four in theaters. Just a shout out, and I might do a. Spoiler free video review on that. Disney and Pixar presents, well, a crossover productions presents because we all know that Hasbro and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles isn't from I'm Disney and Pixar. I mean, like... <laughs> uh, anyone seen Donnie? Not since yesterday. Donnie? Still working on that go kart? It's not a go kart. It's a patrol buggy with detachable sidecars. Ooh, fascinating. Yeah, this is how I deal. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what first always for. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's every man's trash. Yep. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. I mean, I can understand what's going on, but at the same time, I'm not a fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Or the Nickelodeon show. And besides, considering how many times Nickelodeon has does this, does this CGI gimmick of doing multiple stuff, like... Kung Fu Panda and Penguins of Madagascar, I'm not really surprised. Not funny! Relax. 
Yes, you've been hurt worse. Maybe you forgot that he grabbed me by the face. By the face! Not much of a reaction, huh? Okay. We just want to know what this is. With the power cell, the crime can open the portal. Whoa, whoa. Unless you think the city needs a giant lava fountain. It's pretty bad, right? Yep. That's Obviously. Bad. I suppose it is a little cluttered. We need to keep that portal from opening. We're going in and taking down that portal. No more Mr. Nice Turtle. Yes! I never liked Mr. Nice Turtle. Obviously. Into Planet X. And new tunes is just gonna be part of the... Yep. I thought it was gonna come in like sometime in... Towards the middle of this video, but I guess it's happening right now. So Starlight and Deadly Dog are working together? Or Ducks Dodgers or something? Oh, yeah, you're getting food, huh? Okay, that makes sense on why I say just part of this. So, I guess this is the cine So, this is your cinematic universe of crossovers or something? If we get separated, it might make sense to have a way to make sure we are who we say we are. Jeez. I will say that the walling and the way this this is edited looks really good. I can say that. Of course, I didn't understand that. Of course, it's a joke. I know Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles does jokes. I get it, but still. You don't understand what security means, really? I got a feeling that that clip was probably from the season eight premiere, of, which is School of Days. Cause it looks like I saw Starlight in that. Okay, that's from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, just by looking at it. So, I present you with a choice. Either die in the vacuum of space, or tell me what the thought of my turn. Jip away. Oh, my apologies, your majesties, but I can't, even if I wanted to. Can't. This spell lasts 24 hours. It may have been extreme, but uh, I think it's still a good idea. You're not gonna be! Hold your position, Captain. Get me Vice President Questula. Of course they escaped. I'm sorry I'm not talking that much. I'm just not a fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles since they're getting some kind of a Focus on this, obviously. You sure this is the right place? We don't know why the map sent us here. We shouldn't just walk right in. It could be dangerous. I don't know. I could hang out here for a while. And I still don't understand how Pinkie Pie survived that flame. <sighs> Pretty sure Donnie took this guy out. No. He looks bored to death. Yeah, yeah stay in the obviously the bored to death. Inside information, Donnie? It's worth the risk. How about you tell us what you know, or you'll be stuck here forever because we're out of magic keys and no pony can open the door? <laughs> it's kind of like a weapons from the Legend of Zelda video games. Nice, Mikey. Do not say I meant to do that. Yeah. 
I think this animation is really good. I think this is Photoshop, but jeez. How many references did I see this already, like from Madagascar and stuff? Two star-like limos, like one good and one before she was good, and was that Coco clip? Didn't notice that. Sorry, I didn't watch that movie. I'm just not interested. Oh, he's gonna be the villain of this? Okay, that's interesting. Okay, I guess they're trying to bypass the 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 animals causing a lot of chaos. Sorry, I forgot the names. Jeez, was what, what, she just killing the the watermelon or something? Because it kind of looks. Please don't be at, feed the animals. Uh. He needs to try some decaf. <laughs> Look here, Gruesome. Surely you don't expect us to eat rocks. If you weren't smart enough to plan ahead, then doom on you! Of course everyone needs to plan ahead. What do you actually expect Daffy to do? Any pony out starting to think this is a lost cause? Maybe whatever Twilight saw when she took that crazy potion wasn't real. I was afraid this day the, the problem why I have with this is that if you're going to do stuff like this, All right, guys, let's pack it, even, it doesn't show a clip of Twilight taking a potion or of what you're trying to do in this scene. It makes it really confusing. Especially with the different clips that you're doing in this. Of Madagascar? Really? Jeez. I suppose you are wondering why it is that I have laid a ridiculously complicated trap for you. You won't get away with this! Hey, 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 eyes on the big screen! Here's a little show I whipped up. Wing of Fire activated. No, you can't do that! Equestria needs both of you! Do you mind? Really? Equestria needs. The villain of the Penguins of Madagascar. Yeah. Okay, I will admit that this is actually walking because apparently the flames in the Penguins cartoon and then we see flames in this, in the Milo Point stuff, I guess it kind of fits. You two play nice in there. What are those? Well, it looks like they're collecting DNA from every plant and animal species on Earth. Valiant efforts on both your parts, but the tree remains in jeopardy. And, and, they're gonna, the and the tree is going to break in the Season 9 premiere that's going to be coming that's next what month. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Have you tried this? <laughs> and that 
That's why no one wants to be with you. <laughs> Very funny. I see the clip from the Milo Pony movie where they get in the desert because I remember that clip. Uh, oh wait, never mind. Uh, so I and Trixie are with them. Never mind then. Sorry. Uh, it's just three stuff going on at once. Three subplots, I get it, but still. Really? Empty gas? Really, uh, Miss Traz, Miss Taz, really took over. All the, all those gooses did. Why should you let some pony else stop you from doing your job? I don't care. Just stop calling me. Bet you think you're pretty slick. Really, a, a random clip at the end. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, uh, oh, they guess they didn't meet each other. Oh look, there's only one of him. What are we so afraid of? Are you even listening to yourself this time? Uh. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. Don't let them distract you. We have to get to the elements of harmony. There are only hopes. Quick, barricade the doors. Uh. So is the penguins part of this? Because apparently you saw a clip of them fighting, so there must be psychics to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in your class of the world, I assume. And Daffy and Piggy are back to normal or something, I don't know. Little didn't make this obviously. I really say, oh, wait, there's still more. Okay, maybe I think those ending parts or something. I'll get to my thoughts on what I think about this. We think about this video later after it's finished. No, I would 
easily comment on these guys not being associated with this, but I don't know all those people except John Lasso, just to name a few. Oh, I guess you did edit the credits, but I highly doubt that the animation is from the people who did the Disney stuff. Did they did any of the Walmart stuff, which is from Daffy. I know it's, I'm really messing up my wallet in here, but this is real, really real. I know there's going to be more at the end, I'm just waiting. Besides, I can't have, I don't have the ability to move the video forward like I do with Reaction.com, which is sadly gone forever from my, from the app store. I was, I'm not, I just letting you know, I didn't like the two songs, I'm just saying. But jeez, these cards are taking forever. For a YouTube video, nonetheless. Another song. Skywalker sound. The Star Wars wasn't part of this. From beginning to end, it wasn't. Besides, I think it's only used for those movies or something. You know? Oh my god, there's like several songs in this. I'm just waiting because I know there's going to be some because we still have like two or three minutes of this. Okay, I guess it's going to be end credits stuff. Like end, like when you see at the, at the end of these VHS and you're going to see a lot of promos of the upcoming, uh, upcoming uh, premieres of several material. Post movie. <laughs> okay, that's actually not funny. Okay, I guess that's the end. Is it? Well, we still have more, but... Jeez, I, I just think that putting these at the end is just there for something, you know? I mean, usually when it comes to post-movie, or come to the epilogue stuff, it usually comes before these two. I'm just saying. Okay. At Pixar, it is a tremendous collaboration in making these films. Yeah, obviously. We have such amazing artists working together to, to do these films. We couldn't do it any other way. Yeah, I know Pixar's Pixar is one of the... Ice Age 2 was from... Was from Blue Sky, and that is also friend. from someone else. A fantastic family man. His name was Glenn McQueen. He was the heart and soul of our animation department. We thought we'd cut together a little bit of Glenn for you to see, you know, to see what a great guy he was. Glenn and what I mean by that is, do the ultimate crossover for the most random so clips we had to put together if, uh, throughout this entire video. Do you? you? When you first brought them here, I thought you hired a bunch of clowns. Yeah. Uh, are you gonna try to do like a movie crossover or something like the way you're showing these? Because it kind of looks like you are for some reason. I never thought that I would find a place to step right in and start again. I never thought that I could just begin. 
Like, is all this like something that you would like, uh, like in movies, and you want to put them into a 30 minute video or something? Because that's basically what this is. It's just a random crossover with three shows, along with other stuff, get crammed in into this confusing and completely mashed up video crossover. That's why I feel when I watch this video from beginning to end. Since this is mainly focusing on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episode, which I think that for the majority of it focuses on action and being serious while and a few jokes, I guess that it's probably the best that I'm really not interested in watching more of these kinds of videos because of how confusing and really, really mash up they are. Or curl up is what I'm trying to match, trying to say. Even if the music from the season 5 finale is good, just keep this in mind that it really doesn't make up the problems I have throughout this entire video. I mean, the video isn't terrible, and this probably makes sense on to why you keep doing it. I still found it completely weird to see stuff like this keen crammed in. So anyway, that was the video, and I'm really not much of a fan of it. The thing is, is that even if it may be a good video for some of you people who really enjoy stuff like this, I still think that it's, you know, it's just crammed up, but at the same time, it's just there for a crossover channel to do crossover things. I just think that, I just think that seeing another video like this again just feels really, you know, I didn't want to waste my time to watching a video involving randomness. I mean, I don't have a problem with randomness, but when it's literally, but when you crank up clips from cartoons and material and put them in into a brainstorm video, it really feels really confusing. Especially, even if I am used to be a fan of YouTunes, I'm not a fan of, I don't usually watch the content anymore. And when it comes to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I'm really not much of a fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because I'm just not interested in Turtles. I'm just saying. And as for My Little Pony, the clips that you add in now kind of what considering the fact that some of the clips are from season eight, and considering that this is, and you're doing this in a VHS style, I will say that it's probably the only thing that I can find it unique about this entire video because you actually put the ponies into a very serious crisis with other with other characters. And as for the other characters like Dr. Blowhole, which is from the Penguins of Madagascar cartoon, and, and some clips from Ice Age, I just think that they're just, I think you just put them in because you probably like those materials. And I just think that it's kind of confusing to see these characters completely work something out, even if they don't match up most of the clips most of the time. So if you're going to request me to do another video, please don't be anything like this. I'm just saying, it's just really confusing to see stuff like this completely in the final product. It just makes me really confused and also not impressed. I mean, the video isn't terrible, I'm just not impressed. YouTube poops, on the other hand, I'll do those, maybe, but not all of them. Anyway, I'm only fan boy for a heel, and I'll see you more with My Little Pony Month. Because tomorrow, I'm going to be reviewing Season 7 episodes.